OpenAI is facing a new complaint filed with the FTC today over the company's popular chat GPT product. Yahoo Finance's Dan Howley here with the details. Dan, what are we learning? That's right, Dave. This is from the Center for AI and Digital Policy, and they're basically calling for the FTC to force OpenAI to stop what it's doing as far as advancing uh, its practices on chat, uh, I'm sorry, GPT. Four. Now, one of the statements that they say in the complaint is OpenAI is a California-based corporation, has released a product, GPT-4, for the consumer market that is biased, deceptive, and a risk to privacy and public safety. They also go on to say in the complaint, uh, let me just pull it up here. Um, let's see. Here we go. Um, Sorry about that. Uh, the Federal Trade Commission has declared that the use of AI should be transparent, expendable, fair, and empirically sound while fostering accountability. Uh, they say that OpenAI's product, GPT-4, satisfies none of those requirements and is calling on the FTC to act here and enjoin them from further commercial releases of GPT-4 and the establishment of guardrails uh, to protect consumers, businesses, and the commercial marketplace from AI. So basically, uh, the fear here is something that we saw in that letter that was signed from researchers the other day about the rapid advancement of AI technologies like GPT-4, uh, GPT-3, 3.5, chat GPT and other generative AIs. Don't forget, this isn't just open AI that's doing this. We have other companies that are also in the generative AI space. And, you know, it comes uh, shortly after that big kerfuffle around the uh, generative AI image of the Pope uh, walking around. Uh, and then those other generative AI images of Trump uh, and uh, Macron being arrested. So, you know, this is something that we're going to continue to see these kind of uh, backlashes to different parts of generative AI. Dim, some of these concerns are being brought to light at a time when a number of these tech companies that are in the AI, that have AI as part of their businesses, are cutting some of those positions within the company. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, look, I mean, when I was at the Microsoft event for uh, them rolling out Bing and uh, at the Edge browser, they had a panel specifically dedicated to uh, AI ethics, and they they trumpeted that heavily. And then shortly thereafter, they they let go of that team. And now, you know, I'm sure Microsoft would say, look, we invested in this. We have these guardrails set up. We know what we're doing. But, you know, it's not just Microsoft. Uh, we had uh, Twitch. We had Twitter. Uh, other companies laying off these ethical teams and, you know, no, this is not Skynet. We don't have Terminators running around. You know, self-driving cars aren't like plowing into people like that Stephen King movie. I forget what it was. Um, I want to say Christine, but that doesn't sound right. But this, th there is a, a fear that these kinds of technologies could be abused. And, you know, part of that is the spread of disinformation, misinformation. Um, you know, people may rely on them. And a lot of the companies that put out these technologies specifically have to say, look, they're not always going to be correct. Uh, Microsoft does that when they release a, a new product. Um, you know, Google will put that uh, on as a warning on its barred product. So, you know, there's this kind of fear that, yes, these are advancing. Yes, it's incredible technology, but is it ready for prime time yet? And, you know, uh, clearly uh, this organization does not see that as the case. Indeed. All right, Dan Halley, appreciate that. Thanks so much.